Hi Neil here from website neilcurtis.me and we're going to have a look at the layouts plugin and we're going to use it to create this simple but nicely laid out homepage. So we've got different sections, we've got a logo, we've got a menu section here and we've got this big image slider and then below that we've just got an area to put a little bit of text about the website and then we've embedded a couple of YouTube videos here that you can play straight from this page and this layout hasn't been styled at all. It's just using a drag and drop feature of the layouts plugin to create this. Then we have three images. I've used the same image here. Possibly should use a different one, but it shows you how you can lay out the images. Then at the bottom, we've just got three widget areas where I show recent posts, a date widget and search widget. So this is all created using the drag and drop features of the layouts plugin. And this is a completely responsive fluid design. So if you shrink the page, if you're looking like on a tablet or on a mobile device, you see how everything shrinks down and lays out nicely. If you just increase that again, you see how this image slider does that. If you have a look how these videos and image sections of this grid layout behave, you see they shrink down so on a tablet, but then when you get small enough for a smartphone, they all stack beneath each other so it's nice and neat no matter what device you are looking on. This is all created quickly within 10 minutes using the layout plugin. Okay, so we'll start the tutorial here with a default 2014 WordPress theme with three posts on it. We're going to now go ahead and use the layout plugin to create a nice homepage like we showed before. So we go to appearances and theme. I'm going to activate this toolset bootstrap theme because this integrates with the layout plugin. You can use any theme and do a little bit of modification to the theme you're using to use the layouts, but to make life easier, we're going to use a toolset bootstrap theme. And this comes with this module manager, which is very useful. We're not going to look at this in detail, but just to show you, it has preset layouts for different things such as a featured news slider as you can see here or we've got a listings area but we're not going to use this feature what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and activate this layouts plugin so i've installed it already and now it's activating it and once I activate it we get the layouts tab here on the left so if i click on layouts it's telling me here that we need to set a theme for it. So you can click here to find out how to do any theme. But we're going to click here because we have the bootstrap theme. And I've got two options. I'll just use the bootstrap two because it's default. Right now when I click layout, so I won't see that message and I can just add a new layout. So we've got different ones here, but I'm going to click empty layout and we'll give it a title. I click empty because I want to com completely create it from scratch. So let's call it new layout, layout homepage. We'll create it. All right, so here we go in our blank area, ready to create the layout for our homepage. So we've got 12 different elements or sections of the grid we can utilize. So this is gonna be the header region. So I'm just gonna select the first four areas. I'm gonna click on the visual editor I'm just going to add a logo. So this is going to be my logo area in the header of the home page. So I've already uploaded this to my gallery. So we can just select the logo. There it is. So now I'm going to leave one space and then I'm going to use the rest of the top area. I'm going to put a menu in there. So see if you hover over them, it shows you preview. So I'm going to click menu. And then I've only got one option in navigation, but if you create lots, there'll be more there. And just see, put it in. So now we have a menu in there. Push plus to create the next section beneath this. Now I'm going to select all the elements and I want a full width slider. So we just click slider. I'm going to say I want a height 400. I'm going to say autoplay and then pause if you hover over it. So now I'll choose my image. So again, I've got a few images in here. I'll just select this one of a dog's head. I'll put in a title, slider image one, a bit of a description. So let's put description of slider image one. I'm going to copy that just so I don't have to do it next time. I'm going to add another image for a slider. 
Let's use this one here. I'll paste that in. Make it slider image two. Paste this in. Description slider image two. You'll add one more image. I'll fill in the description title first. So slider image three. Then we'll choose an image here. It's plain. We'll do. Create. So that's our slider done. So I'll save this and we'll have a look on the page to see how it's coming along. So you see I've done no custom styling. I've just dragged and dropped my different areas and said what I want to show in them. I'm going to create a new page. And we'll say new layout home page. And you see on the right here, you have this option to select the layout. And this is this one we just created. So I'll select that, publish my page. Let's view it. This is going to be my new home page. And there we go. We've got my logo, got this menu bar, and we've got our image slider. So that was dead easy. I am going through this quickly, but it's just to show you how easy it is to set this up. So now we may as well add the next sections to this. So we'll just go back into here, and then we'll add another one. And then what I'll do now is I'll add an area just to write some text. So we'll add this and it opens up the editor window. I'll go to the text one and I'll just write some text. So welcome to my website. I'll make this a heading so it'll be H1. So let's put H1 tags around it to make it a heading. And then we'll just put some words here. This menu home page made super easily using the layouts plugin. Let's copy this and paste it a few times just to make a paragraph. That'll do and create. Right, so we have this text area now. So we push a plus to add another area beneath it. And we'll put some YouTube videos in here and we'll make them half the page each. So we'll just select it and then click YouTube. And now we can just go and find a video and put the URL in there. So we'll head over to YouTube, find a video. So let's go to my channel, I might as well use one of my videos. Right, so I'll just paste that address in there. Create it, and I'll select the next six cells. And then YouTube again, we'll go and find a different video. Copy that URL, paste it in that box. There's two YouTube videos in there now. And actually, I'll just create a box above it and we'll make it, I'll make it half the page. You know, five elements, five cells, five, six cells. And I'll put a some words here just so we can tell people these are recent YouTube videos. Again, I'll just say I'm not doing any custom styling, so I could put use some HTML and CSS styling here to lay things out a bit nicer, but now I'm just to make it bold and that will do. Let's save that and have a look to see how these changes look. So there we go, now we've got that area. It's a little bit tight but I could pad it out but I'm not going to. And there we are, we've got our videos in our text. So that was really easy to do. And if you wanted to embed two videos side by side, normally it would take a little bit more effort than this. 
All right, so I'm going to add three images here, and they're going to be four cells each, so a third of the page. So we'll just use the top visual editor again and add some media. I'll just use this camera value, let's use the same image three times. I'll select full size and it won't link to anything, but I could link it to a page if I wanted. I'll put a caption in there as well. And then I'll select the next four cells, put the same image in, I won't link it to anything. Finally, I've put in my last image. If we look at this, see how these images appear on the web page. And there they are, nicely spaced out, a third of the page each. Exactly how we want it. So finally we'll finish this off and I've put in three widget areas, again a third of the page each. Just click widget. And then what we want to show want to show recent posts. Let's give it a title of recent posts. So let's select the next four cells. Widgets again. This time we'll show a calendar. And the final four cells will show a search bar. Oops, I didn't want to click that. You want to select them again. Put another widget in, this time a search bar. So again, I'm just doing this really quickly just to show you how you can use this layout, but hopefully you can see the potential if you want to make yourself a really nice web page or website, because you can assign these to different pages, but here we're just doing a home page. So we'll have a look at our final layout and there you go. This is our final area now with these widget parts at the bottom. And this is our completed web page or test home page created within 10 minutes using the layouts plugin. Okay, so if you wanna learn more about the layouts plugin, there's a link here and it'll take you to the website so you can see more on there. And also, it would be great if you could subscribe to this YouTube channel to hear about new videos as soon as I publish them on YouTube. And also, head over to my website at www.neilcurtis.me where I have lots more guides and tutorials about styling WordPress.